The set data structure is also a first class citizen in Unreal, and it is in the T set type. We can expose it to the editor with the U property and edit anywhere to make it so that you can edit in the details panel or on instances. And we can do blueprint read write so that we can edit it in the blueprint graph. The set is in the header under containers set, so containers slash set dot h. The primary function of a set is that it can only contain unique values. So if you try to add the same value multiple times, it will only add one of those values. So for example, let's add some values to our set. You can do that with the add function. You can check the size of your set with the num. If we attempt to add the same value multiple times, it will only add one so that the set is full of unique values. You can remove from the set using the remove function. You can check if a set has a value using the contains method. You can use a for each loop with the set. And you can build an array from a set using the array method. Let's drop a breakpoint to test that out. And so our code name set starts out empty, and we add the first, second, and third. Let's step over that. So now we can see that first, second, and third are in the set. We can get the set size using the num method. And then if we try to add multiple copies of the first element, the set will effectively reject that because it only has unique values. It's not like an array. You can see the num is not changing. It stays at three. We can remove from the set by value using the remove method. So remove first. Now we've removed first, it only contains second and third. We can use the contains, and so we still have second in the array, but we do not have first. So the bool for hat contains second is true, and the bool for first is false, as expected. We can iterate over the set using the for each. And we see that it printed below. We can also get an array copy of the set using the array method. So in Blueprint, we can access the code set by going to the class defaults and typing set. And here is our code name set. And that again is because we did edit anywhere, which allows us to edit it in this properties panel or on instances. And so we can add some values to this. And notice that I cannot continue adding values because it is a set. So there's only one value for none. So if I type editor one, and now I can add another, none, but if I try to add another, it fails because these are, need to be unique. So editor two and editor three. And so now that we specified these in the editor, if I debug again, our code set already contains these values, editor one, two, and three. And that's because this is executing and begin play. Blueprint can also create sets. So if we make a new variable, and set the value to name. If we compile, we can change the variables type. So if I click on it, and I go to this icon here, we can set it to be a set of names. So in the blueprint or event graph, we can get the named set to get code name set. And we can do this because in code, because we have set the blueprint read write specifier on the U property. Blueprint can add to the set too, just calling add. And we will add this blueprint named value variable, which just contains this name, bp added name. We can get the length of the code name set by calling the length method. So in code, this is called num, but in blueprint, it's called length. And in blueprint, it is still a set, so we cannot continue to add the same value. So if we try, it will just do nothing. 
we can test if a set has a value using the contains method. So it contains item, pp name. And we can remove from a set using the remove method. Blueprint also has the ability to convert a set to an array using the to array node. And using that, you can for loop over the array. So let's drop a breakpoint to test that. So we can see our set currently only contains the editor values because it has not run the native code yet. And we will add the BP added name. So now our set has BP added name. And if we try to add it again, it effectively fails because it already has this unique value. We check the length that is greater than zero. That works as expected. We can also do a contains check. So we're going to see if the codename set contains the value BP added name. And it should because we just added it. And then we can remove from the set the value we just added, so BP added name. I step over that. The set no longer contains the added name. And we can convert this set to an array to loop over it. We'll continue exploring containers in further detail in further videos.